Hey there everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are new to the channel or the video, welcome back. I hope you enjoy the uh, AppGyver tutorials and all of the others out there. So AppGyver is a really cool platform and this video is a request from a viewer on how to resize the checkbox, although this should work for other primitives and components in AppGyver. The five second rundown of AppGyver, it's a codeless application development platform for people making 10 million or less in revenue and basically it's completely free. Now check out their pricing page to verify that and make sure nothing has changed, but we're just going to go ahead and jump straight in to show you how to resize this. Now there's a couple of things to note here. First thing that you need to do is go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and then we'll go ahead and get started. Now one thing to note here is we're going to work with the primitive because the resize doesn't want to work with us over here on this checkbox field. So I'll show you what we're trying to do on this field just to show you that it's not currently working for me. And then we can actually recreate this field using other components. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this edit button down here. And when you're editing these, I'll call them multiple primitive components because you have the checkbox and then the label. You would click on the checkbox to make some changes. And then up here you would click edit. And you'll see we can go down to transform and you could select a transformation so we could choose scale x and then scale y and we would increase the size but this doesn't want to let us for some reason so i can't resize you'll see when i went to transform it nothing happened so if we click out and we go to this checkbox and we're going to do the same thing so basically you can go up here to style under default checkbox you can click edit and when you scroll down to transform, if we click scale X and scale Y, you'll see it automatically adds both. So we could add scale X and we could set this to five. But if we do that, it's only scaling across the X axis. So we would also need to scale by five on the Y axis. But now you're going to notice this box is really large. So at this point, we have to make some additional changes. So you'll see if we select outside of it, the box is just off to the side of the page. So we would need to make some other changes here. So <clears throat> we have a ton of different options, but the idea that we would typically go with is we can go, you can cancel or discard changes if you're interested, but you'll see we have topography and all the other changes that you may potentially need to make. And then you have layout, which is your top and bottom gap, horizontal spacing. What we're looking for is position. So you can change the padding here. And these are this is the padding you could imagine your object being right here. So if we added padding on this side, let's just say XXL or XXXL, sorry. Then you'll see it moved it over a little bit. Now, if we were to decide, you know what? We don't want it to be this close to this top label. We could do the same thing. But you can also go over to pixels or percentage or apologize function and find a way to make this work for other screen sizes. For example, if you typed in 100 pixels, it would go way further down the page. So you could type in whatever works best for you. And now you're essentially done. So you have resized your checkbox. Now you may be wondering, well, wait, we were we want this title label off to the side. So to recreate that, what we can do is we can get creative and decide, okay, what component would help us accomplish this? So we can drag over this row, put this checkbox inside of it. Now you'll have to make some changes to the row because again, <clears throat> you're essentially kind of stretching it to its limit, so to speak. So you'll have your no style class. You can go to edit and you can make some changes to border shape you can transform this if you're interested so we could scale x and scale y and then you'll see we could maybe put it to five which is very very large but if we want we could set this and make it 55. so you'll see that you're going to have to play around with this quite a bit in order to kind of get this to work. So you would have to mess around with it. As you can see, the, the changes are going to drastically uh, alter the size and shape. So you're going to have to figure out, maybe there's just a general scale that we would need to do. So you'll see, obviously 11 is massive. So if we went to 1.5, that's a little bit better, but it looks like we're scaling more on the X axis than the Y. So we could try 1.5 on the Y or 
you could try 20. Again, a lot of changes that you could make. So we're not going to focus on that too much. But the point here is you could scale this up quite a bit. And then over here on the side, you could throw in your text. And here's where you would basically put your title label. So you could go over here, choose title label. And then you would just change the style and color of your text. So we could choose this. And now effectively we've recreated this. Now, again, you obviously need to make some changes to your checkbox and make everything, you know, look a little bit better, but that's kind of the general idea. So we could resize the checkbox, maybe make it two by two so that it's a little bit larger. And then you would need to adjust your cell for that text box. So we have tons of options. So you have your padding, your image and effects, and you can mess with all of these to see, okay, is it easier to go with the shape? So for example, you have fully round, large rounding, you have your advanced options. So there's potentially options to allow this to effectively resize based on the size of the component that's contained within it. So for the transform piece, if you're interested, like I said, you may want to throw out the rotation and you can, again, try to focus on how can you scale this to kind of make things work out a little bit better. Um, again, it's really going to depend on quite a few things, especially because we're dealing with the left side not necessarily matching up with the right. And you also have to factor in that for this component, we have also changed the general, uh, like the location as well. So we may need to clear this out because we've messed with the sizing. So as you can see, this can get kind of messy pretty quickly. So again, the general idea, if you're if you don't want to use that that row, another thing you could consider is taking your checkbox and dropping it outside of the row. And mine doesn't want to cooperate. So what we'll do is we'll just delete the cell. It'll delete whatever's inside of it. And we'll delete this cell as well. So the second option that we have, because as you can see, that's a little messy, is we can drop a checkbox. Actually, we're looking for the primitive. So we'll drop the checkbox in here. And then we'll go back because we know how to resize it now. So we're going to jump over to Style. We're going to go to Edit. Scroll down to Transform. We are going to scale X and scale Y. And let's just choose five for both. And then our next option, we are going to basically see if we can move this around a little bit. So as you can see, again, you can make any other changes here, but we're gonna go to position and we're just gonna move this over just a tad. And then we will remove the checkbox field and we're going to bring over some text. And then what we're going to do is same thing. So we have the layout here and we could align this. If we're interested, we could choose the growth or we could uh, work on the position. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit more spacing here. So let's see what looks good. So we'll just go with 100 pixels for now. And then we can use this option here to bump it up. So we'll try 50. And then for the properties, we could go over to style. You'll see we have a primary label, so we could choose this one. And although this is not the best option, this is one thing to consider that's probably gonna be a lot less messy than the rows, where now we have a massive checkbox and off to the right is the same blue text looks similar to this. You could play around with this because again, you're going to have to choose, does pixel make sense? If you're doing pixels on different device sizes, it could look different. So you'll just have to play around with your settings and options, but you could do this with, for example, this icon here as well. So if you drop that icon in and you go over to the primary and you go to edit, you'll see that you can do the same thing here. We can go to transform and we could just do a general scale and increase it by five. And you'll see it's the same as 5x, 5y. So tons of options that you could look into as far as scaling, changing sizes, moving things around in the interface. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below, and I'll see you all in the next video.